everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is definitely like a few weeks ago, probably even three weeks ago that I actually went into a charity shop. Um, it was, yeah, just at the beginning of December, but December, like everyone, is just a real crazy month for me. I actually have like nine birthdays as well as Christmas and things like that. Um, so I really wanted to get this video up before Christmas because there are a few Christmassy items that I did pick up um, but unfortunately I didn't have time but I thought I would still record this video because I know you guys really enjoy my sort of thrifted hauls and charity shop finds and with everything going on I'm really not sure when we'll be able to go again so I thought I'd record this for you today even though it is obviously a few days after Christmas so I really hope you enjoy. So I've got a few um, homey bits, like I said, I got a few Christmassy bits and I mainly got clothes actually while I was in um, this time for myself so I'll make sure to put in some pictures and some slides of like me wearing the items and then I got a few items um, for my two boys as well. So I think what I'll do is I'll do all like the clothing bits first and then I'll leave all like the Christmassy bits um, till the last. So the first item I want to talk about is, is this really cute um, tartan bag and this was like brand new with tags um and yeah it still had all of like the um plastic and wrapping inside but i just absolutely loved this um this was four pounds 99 um from the british heart foundation but like i said it had the tags on it so actually it was 20 pounds brand new but i just thought it was such a sweet little shoulder bag i really love the color and the pattern um i definitely think that it's perfect for obviously wintry sort of time yeah i thought four pounds 99 for basically a brand new bag i thought that that was really really good find so the next item i got was this really cute um mickey top i actually saw um a youtuber wear this like ages ago and i knew that it was from primark but my nearest primark to me is about I think it's about 45 minutes away so um with everything that's been going on i knew i couldn't get up there but i was so happy when i found this because it is in such a good condition and it was in my size and it was for one pound fifty and i just thought that was so such a good price i was so happy with that um but yeah i really love this design i love stripes and i love a mickey top as you can tell i'm wearing one right now <laughs> so yeah that was definitely my favorite thing to find and i just think it looks so nice paired with jeans or anything like that or joggers because that's all i seem to be living in at the moment so this next item i actually got off um a friend off of facebook um she was just having a big declutter and selling a load of clothes and i really loved this jacket it was originally from top shop and she was selling it for five pounds and i just i love it i think it's really really nice um and it's really it's not like very thick but it just is a really really nice stylish jacket i love like the pattern and everything like that and it's quite a nice length so again it's going to look really nice paired up with jeans and just some heels or boots or something like that but um, I'll make sure to do a cutaway so that you can see what this looks like on but yeah I just thought it was really really pretty. In the same charity shop that I got the Mickey Mouse t-shirt I believe it was the um, the Essex Air Ambulance um, which is only like around the corner for me. I also found this really lovely Christmas jumper. Um, it's a really nice pink and white jumper and I think it says the uh, fa -la, la la or something like that on the front um and i just thought it was really sweet with the little candy canes i think it was originally from um matalan and it just is really really super soft and i think it was like one pound fifty so yeah really glad i found that and i just thought it was really nice and really pretty so in the ymca close to me they had a um, big 50p rail so i managed to get quite a few of these next items off of there um so this is another item for me and it's just this really nice sort of orange and navy um, striped top uh, i think it was originally from primark yeah it's from primark um and like i said it was on for two pounds but i actually got it for 50 pence um yeah and i just think this is gonna look so nice especially for this time of year um just to wear it with like layers and things like that to keep warm um and i wear a lot of like pinafore dresses and i just dungarees and things like that and i just think these look really really nice underneath there so i'm glad i found that 
So these next few items are some clothes that I found for the boys. And again, I found this on that 50p rail. Um, it was two pounds and like I said, I got it for 50 pence. Um, and this is a um, Zara top for boys and it's in this lovely mustard color. And this is actually a size seven to eight and my son is only five, but I do like things kind of oversized on the boys. Plus I just think for 50p, he will grow into it. And I like to just hold on to things like that. Um, but I just thought it was really nice and it's going to look nice with some jeans and things like that. So yeah, it's practically brand new. So again, in the YMCA, I found this really sweet little, um, yeah, tartan, is that the right word? Um, yeah, tartan uh, shirt. And this is for my son Ezra. I just think he's going to look so super cute in there. I look love the colour. Um, and this was only a pound. It's originally from Next and I just I love shirts on the boys I think they look so super cute and again I just think um, that's going to look really sweet with like jeans or underneath a jumper or something like that so the last clothing item I got in the YMCA was this Jules top um, I got this for Oscar and it's in size 5 to 6 and this was £2 and again I just really like these styles of tops on the boys I loved stripes and things like that and sorry it's not Jules it's Jasper Conrad but um yeah I just thought again it's such a lovely top it's really really nice and soft and yeah I just think he's going to look really super cute in this so in the British Heart Foundation that's probably one of like my favorite charity shops I usually tend to get quite a few bits in there I do find that sometimes it can be a little bit more expensive than some other of the charity shops down in my town um but I saw this jumper and I thought it was really really nice and this I got for Oscar. Again, I love sort of emerald green and I liked all the like little stags on top. This was £2.99. It's not a brand I've heard of. Uh, oh no, tell a lie. I just didn't recognise the label. It's from TU, so it's from Sainsbury's. Um, but again, I just thought, uh, yeah, that bit threw me off. I didn't know where that was from. But um, yeah, I just thought that was really, really nice. And I think that's going to really suit him. But yeah, like I said, £2.99 to some people might be quite expensive. But I just thought it was a really nice jumper. And I know he's definitely going to wear it. And this last little top again was from the um, British Heart Foundation. This was 90 pence. And I picked this up for Ezra. And I think I have quite a few striped tops, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Um, and I just thought this was so super cute. And it was originally from M and Co. And it's got a little hood. And it's really soft. And again, I just really like the colour. Um, but yeah, can't go wrong for 90p. So this next item is a bit of a random one, but if you guys follow me on Instagram or if you've been following me for a little while, you'll know how much I like sort of like my arts and crafts. And I recently, probably a few months ago, got a um, Cricut machine, a Cricut Joy, and it's really good in charity shops if you're looking for crafty bits because people just donate things that they've just hardly ever used. And I managed to pick up this big pack of um, card and things like that so there was um, there's lots of different cards and envelopes and things like that and it was two pounds for this entire pack and I was just so happy with it because I can definitely use it for kind of like any scrapbooking or anything that I want to make any DIYs so I would definitely recommend if you're into like any arts and crafts to look in your charity shops obviously when they're open again but um, yeah, I just think that this was such a good find and they just sort of bundled them together. I could have actually bought so much, but I didn't. I did refrain myself from buying any more. There's just some really like lovely coloured bits of card and things like that. And it's just, yeah, not going to waste. I'll definitely be finding some projects, um, pro projects to use for these. And this has definitely made me so happy. They definitely had loads of like different um, yarns and wools. And yeah, I definitely recommend going and checking it out when you can. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with this. Like two pounds for all of that. And if you're into crafts like me, this made me so happy. <laughs> so the last few items that I've got are now going to be my Christmassy bits. So there's not a lot, but I just thought that I would share with them, share what I got with you anyway. So... The first item was this really cute Santa mug and this was actually um, a pound 
and that was from the YMCA and I thought he was really cute and I actually had him styled up on my shelves in my kitchen um, and yeah I just there's a few little cracks I don't know if you can see that on here but I just thought he was really super cute and yeah like I said I just had him mainly for styling up my shelves um, so I picked him up. I also picked up this really cute little um, Santa tea light holder. This was uh, £3 again from the YMCA and I just thought he was really cute as well and he's just been on my table here and yeah but he hasn't got any cracks he was pretty much in perfect condition and I just thought he was really sweet so he has definitely been added to my Christmas collection. See, I'm not sure where he's from originally, but I just thought he was so super cute and I don't think you can ever have enough tea light holders at Christmas. <laughs> Next item was this really cute little reindeer. He actually came in um, this Lakeland box. As you can see, he was £1.99 and yeah, he's called Remy the Reindeer and I just thought he was really adorable and he's been out and on my side. I just thought he was really sweet and yeah, he just, yeah added to my little Christmas decor collection and I just thought he was so super cute. So this next item is one of my favourites. Unfortunately, he did have a bit of a tumble thanks to my son Ezra. Um, so it's this guy here and I don't know if you can see, um, but I did have to like patch him up a little bit with some poly filler because <laughs> I just thought it kind of matched the texture but I do obviously need to paint over it um but I just I love him I, I just know that's like a really strange thing to say but I just think he is such an adorable Santa and he really reminds me of the Santa from uh the Muppets Christmas Carol which is like one of my favorite Christmas films and yeah I just I love him I just think he's so super cute look at his little face anyway but um, yeah, I just, I love him. And like I said, he had a bit of a tumble. Um, so I will be painting this bit, but I thought it blended in quite well. Um, yeah, unfortunately the bits that came out were so small that I tried to glue them back together, but they didn't go. But I was not prepared to get rid of him for a little, little breakage. So yeah, I patched him up and he sits on my side and yeah, he's just so adorable. But let me know if you guys think he looks like the, um, ghost of Christmas present from the Muppets Christmas Carol because I definitely think he does. <laughs> so my boys really love books and I saw this and I just thought it was really sweet and it was only 50 pence and um, yeah Ezra is just obsessed with Santa at the moment he just he sounded like Bud of the Elf this year he was like Santa every time he sees him he's just like Santa it's so cute he's only two um, but yeah I picked this up and the boys did really enjoy reading this they thought it was um, a really nice book and yeah the illustrations and everything in here I think are just so sweet so 50p I thought that was such a lovely book um, but we'll probably be reading it all throughout the year because like I said my boys really love books. Now on to the last item and it is this really sweet little um, ceramic school tea light holder. Um, this I got for £1.99 and I only got this kind of literally like a few days before Christmas and yeah it's a bit of a random one but um, Basically, I'd like to spray paint it all white and get a couple of like these little houses for like next year so that I could kind of do um, a, yeah, it's kind of, what's the word I'm thinking of? If you guys follow Hermione's channel, um, she basically had on, I think it was like her entrance hall, she had like a load of like white houses with some like fairy lights and things like that and I just thought it looked really nice and I'd definitely like to sort of like recreate that sort of look. So yeah, I got this. Um, I might spray paint it white but actually it's quite sweet I don't know whether I will or not or whether I'll find time within the next year to kind of find some other little houses but yeah I just thought this was really sweet and they did have a couple of other little ones in there as well but I just preferred the school um, but yeah probably a really random thing to find and you guys are probably thinking what on earth Sarah but yeah I just picked it up and let me know if you guys think that I should spray paint it or if I should just leave it but it's really cute anyway. So that is everything that I got in my haul. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I'm definitely going to be trying to do a lot more videos this year. I definitely think I slacked uh, last year with doing some videos. So I am 
I'm going to be doing a lot more so please let me know below what kind of videos you would like to see um, obviously I'll be doing a lot of like my crafting videos because they are my favorite kind of things to do and I have a lot of upcycling stuff to come um, and also follow me on Instagram because I do a lot of like my upcycling on there as well I'll make sure to put like my name down here but I really hope that you all had a really lovely Christmas and I wish you all a happy new year and I'll see you in my next video take care guys bye